going on to Rome's. So small departure from mock draft 79.5, but the, the Dalton Reisner situation is weird, isn't it? All right. So, so Dalton Reisner, uh, four year starter for the Denver Broncos from Parker day uh eventually signed here uh, mid-season after week two with the minnesota fighting vikings uh worked his way into the starting lineup after ezra cleveland got dinged up and then was ultimately traded to the jacksonville jaguars and i mean reisner i mean the st- stats don't bear it out but i thought that he was more than competent at left guard and perfectly fine rolling with him uh going into the future also i feel like i feel like if he had been the bad guy in the Roadhouse reboot and, and not uh, Conor McGregor would, would have been a way better movie. But I digress. And, uh, yeah, even got some respect from uh, Brian Baldinger, uh, the the OG. Also, hey, can, can, we, get, can we get Baldy, like, uh, some better technology? Because he, he literally films him watching tape on, like, a phone. I mean, it's kind of awesome, but I, and I love Baldy, but technology, bro. Come on. He's fantastic. But uh, so he's got love and respect for the way that Dalton Riser played last year, despite you know, the PFF an- analytics. But no offer uh, reportedly uh, for Dalton Reisner had even been put on the table per Darren Duke Wolfson. And also the Vikings, they did uh, put the damn thing down for Blake Randall. Three years, nine and a half million, which is more than uh, what Reisner got last year, prorated three million bucks. So it's pretty obvious that the Vikings do see Brandle as a potential starter at left guard and potential replacement for Dalton Reisner. And also randomly, I don't know why. I, I forget the context, but I-, I just have this as Blake Brandle. Maybe he was coming back from injury, but wearing the four or five. Go ahead. Mm. Uh, and Reisner uh, even took to social media. That- that's when you know that things are going well. Uh, when you put your business out on Front Street. So Reisner, just in case anyone was wondering, this is back on March 12th, uh, so a month ago. Uh, just in case anyone was wondering, I've started 73 games over five years in this league, and I drive a Dodge Stratus, missing only four games due to injury, earning the starting spot amongst three different coaching staffs. I've never asked for a bag, simply just a starting guard contract. Now, with like Robert Hunt getting 20, 20 million bucks a year, like, like what does a starting guard contract uh, I mean, what what does that entail? Mm. Uh, but also, like his uh, market value estimation is pretty modest. Uh, so PFF uh, has him at five and a half million per year. Uh, spot rack about the same. So like it's not insane money. And also, it's you know, a couple million bucks more than what the Vikings gave Brandle. But I don't know. But also. In this mix, Reisner uh, fired his agent, switched to Rosenhaus. Rosenhaus get, gets ish done, right? So uh, he, as uh, Reisner is looking for a new contract, and a, a lot of people go to, well, obviously Reisner is bad in the locker room because he had a sideline spat. Now, all right, so the context here is, is important because everyone and their mom looks at this like, oh, Reisner got into it with Russell Wilson. That's not correct. I mean, Reisner got into it with Brett Rippon, uh, who uh, apparently uh, they're, they're good friends. But, of course, I mean, com- competition brings out uh, everything and everyone, right? So uh, I, them having a, a, a heat of the moment uh, issue, like, I, I don't think that makes him a bad locker room guy. Plus, this is an isolated incident. There's no reports of anything else. Uh, there's nothing about him uh, with the Vikings. And uh, him... He's regarded as a, a good locker room guy, great with the media as well. So I, 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 I discount that. Like, I, I don't think that uh, carries any water. But, I mean, it's interesting. It's interesting. So second round pick by the Broncos back in the day out of Kansas State. Four-year starter at left guard for Denver. Uh, Broncos had zero goose egg D'Angelo Russell interest in bringing him back. Uh, free agent 2023, no significant offers. His only visit was with the Vikings, and that was in late July before training camps were, were kicking off. Ultimately signed with the Vikings after week two, so he wasn't even on uh, a, a 90-man roster during training camp. He wasn't on a 53 at the start of the season. Uh, played in 15 games, started 11 uh, at left guard. And then, I mean, the Vikings, no offer, no interest. There, there hasn't been any reports of him visiting with teams. There wasn't a- anything uh, when free agency opened. So now he's just floating and you know, maybe it's a spot too where maybe there's contingency offers uh, w- with him as like, Hey, if we don't pick up an interior offensive lineman in the draft, we'll, we'll circle back. And once the compensatory pick uh, window for free agents is closed, we'll, we'll pick you up uh, that sort of deal. And maybe that's even in play with the Vikings where a uh, Brandle, I mean, that contract, it's not a backup contract, but also it's not a, 
It's not an amount of money where it would be absurd where the Vikings would pass on bringing in a guard, say, or even possibly bringing back uh, Dalton Reisner. But would Reisner want to be back and compete for a spot as opposed to earning one? Even though, you know, like he said, uh, he's he's earned uh, starting spots uh, through multiple coaching staff. So maybe he's OK competing. I don't know. But like, like I said, it's weird. It's weird, especially given the dearth of interior offensive line play around the league, that the fact that you have a very competent starter. Uh, is is he all-world? Is he all-pro? No. But is he a guy that is above replacement uh, value? Yes, he, he certainly is. And if, if indeed it's true that he's not looking to break the bank, he's just looking for a starting guard's contract, it's weird. Again, it's super weird that there are two off-seasons in a row, nothing to do with injury, Nothing to do with anything like that. Nothing to do with locker room stuff. Uh, uh, by and large, he seems to be a, a really good dude uh, and a very competent outside zone guard. So I don't know. I don't know. Just like, but, but zero interest, zero offers, two off seasons in a row. Is this a spot too where this drags on and he's not even in camp with a team? Or uh, basically, you just wait to see uh, if a team looks to pick him up mid season again? It's weird. It's weird, man. But uh, anyways, your thoughts or thoughts, Roadhouse. Uh, wh what's up with Reisner? What's going on? Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.